Hello, my name is Mrs Newton and I'm in charge of psychology here and I'm just about to tell you some information about what psychology is and what it would be like to study psychology at GCSE. So what is psychology all about? Psychology is the study of people, it's the study of us, it's the scientific study of the human mind and behaviour, how people influence each other, uh, what, how and why of behaviour, what makes you think, what makes you behave in the way that you do and Psychologists come up with theories um, based on their everyday experiences, based on the things that they see around them. They come up with theories about what behaviour is like, and then they conduct studies in order to try and prove their theories right or wrong. Uh, here are just a few uh, of the questions that psychologists ask. Obviously, psychology is a hugely broad subject. People are very complex uh, and very different. Um, and so just some of the questions that psychologists ask, uh, lots of which we cover uh, during the GCSE course uh, about people. So if you were to take in a GCSE in psychology, you would be taking part in eight different uh, sections of the course. So two equally weighted exams at the end of year 11 that cover eight different topics, eight different branches of psychology. I'll give you a little bit more detail uh, about each of these topics in turn. So paper one, the first four topics included. The first one is memory. So here we look at the different processes in memory, what the structure of memory is like, as well as factors that affect our memory, things like emotion, uh, interference, and reasons why we might forget certain information. The second topic is about perceptions. So that's how we perceive the world. Uh, we look at lots of different visual illusions and try to explain those visual illusions, as well as different, again, different factors that might affect how you would perceive something, uh, which again, would include things like your emotion or different cultural uh, ways of interpreting different uh, perceptions. And the third topic is development. So we look at the development of the brain as well as the development of intelligence and how language uh, develops through childhood, uh, as well as some different things that uh, influence how you learn, things like mindset uh, and factors that influence that as well. And then the fourth topic is research methods. So that is how psychologists actually conduct their research. So looking at experiments, observations, lots of different ways in which psychologists actually carry out their experiments and then analyze uh, the results of those experiments. So that old page comes under paper one. And then paper two uh, is all about the different context of behaviour. So the first topic there is social psychology. Uh, and in the social psychology topic, we look at things like conformity, uh, how people behave in a group, um, in a crowd, why people behave differently in a group to might, they might do when they were on their own. We look at things like obedience, how people will blindly follow an order, even if it's an order that they think is morally wrong, if somebody in a position of power uh, tells them to do. Uh, also look at different factors that influence uh, whether you would be behave pro-socially and help in a situation or whether you would ignore and uh, become a bystander. The topic after that is language, communication and thought. So here we look at differences between animal and human communication, how animal uh, communicate with each other and how human language is different and more complex than that. We also uh, look at the really interesting topic of nonverbal behaviour, so things like body language, uh, personal space and how we can uh, interpret people's body language, uh, what does eye contact mean, things like that. Uh, the second to last topic is about the brain and the neuropsychology, so we look at the nervous system, the structure and the function of the nervous system the brain and how the brain works, uh, how different parts of the brain influence different parts of behaviour, um, as well as cognitive neuroscience, so looking at the link between brain activity and thinking and emotion as well. And our final topic is psychological problems, so we look at the concept of mental health um, and focusing on what does that mean, what is mental health, and specifically looking at addiction and depression, uh, the characteristics of those disorders, as well as uh, explanations and treatments for uh, those as well. So that is all of the topics, very briefly uh, explained there. Uh, in terms of assessment, the GCSE assessment, it is 100% exam, uh, AQA specification, uh, two papers, uh, both an hour and 45 minutes each, and they cover a range of different types of questions from uh, short multiple choice questions right through to sort of longer, more extended, uh, describe and evaluate uh, essay style or short essay style questions.
So what is psychology actually like? Um, it's not like any other of the subjects that you might have studied before. Uh, it's really, really active. We do lots and lots of experiments, lots of practical demonstrations of our own behaviour and testing on each other as well. We do lots of discussion about how different theories apply to your life, uh, as well as different evaluations of the different theories. Does that actually make any sense? Uh, how we can use it and learn from psychological research. Uh, students that take it currently, they really enjoy it. They say it's really fun uh, subject uh, and they find a lot about themselves and they can apply it every day in their everyday lives it's really really enjoyable uh, and interesting subject uh, and you'll get lots of variety of skills as well we do a little bit of basic maths uh, also a little bit of uh, extended writing um, and scientific uh, element in the scientific studies as well so it's a little bit of everything so why should you take psychology well if you have any aspirations to any career where it would involve um, helping people or understanding people, or even if you're just interested in finding out you know, more about you and the people around you, uh, then it's a great all round uh, subject for that. So if you want to find anything else out about this subject, specifically the content, you can look on the AQA website, which will give you the full rundown uh, of the specification, or alternatively, you can always email me and ask any questions that you might have about psychology. Thank you.